Okay guys, everybody, YouTube, just completed a 17k run, and this is the uh, Pegasus 34, this is my first run with it, and I'm just going to do a quick review after running the 17k, just trying to get it off first, okay, so let me tell you the reason why I'm, I'm wearing this 34, because... If you think about it, 2020 should be should be uh, Pegasus 37. But why am I wearing this today? Um, because I got this on sale. Um, it was at the Nike store at Bond Mills. It was um, 79.99 and then 30% off. And then it came to about $54 after tax. So I run I ran today 17k. My go-to shoe was this one. However, I'm feeling that the React is losing its bounce. So, um, review for this one. Let me settle down and return. There, there. Let me t reverse this. Okay, so I just did 17K with those shoes. Here's the box. 8.5 and it was 17 79.99 and then it came to $55 about I I was skeptical about this purchase because this is a, a old product right but I looked into the insole um, into the tongue it says this production for this shoe was um, 2019 yes it was made 2019 July or uh, actually August I don't know if you can see it says August 7 2019 so it's it's a uh, three-year product three-year old product and they still made it this last year but I'm quite surprised about this product um, because after wearing this hold on a second after wearing this today I appreciate the the heel lock for this shoe. At first, it was a little bit bumpy. It was rough, rigid, rugged compared to the React. But um, this zoom uh, uh, this zoom sole uh, is not bad. It's pretty good. And I kept running and running, and I don't feel any pain on my shoe on my feet and my legs. So and then the grooves here are amazing um compared to the uh infinity react this one is already losing its grip but this one could probably last a little bit longer it could probably run in the in the in the rain or in the snow as well because th these grooves are very very durable it looks like it that's for me to find out i will keep running with these shoes uh, very good purchase um the other thing i found Sorry, a lot of sweat. The other thing I found was this shoe um, keeps hitting my my thigh. I'm, I'm sorry, um, keeps hitting this part of my feet, and it bothers me. It does bother me, and I, I keep I keep slipping. So somehow this bottom sole. Is not as durable as these ones these this one I kept running and it, I it feels like this is actually gripping the floor so and one more thing very last comment about the new pair of shoes I wore is the fly knit uh, for the laces this actually locks down to your feet I really I love it it reminds me of my old days wearing a fly knit product, uh, fly, uh, sorry, fly, fly wire, not fly knit, fly wire. It actually uh, molds your feet as you tighten your shoe, your laces. So this is very good compared to the Infinity React. There's no fly wire on the lacing system. So maybe on the next Infinity React, they could create, they could add the fly wire in it. So definitely, um, I'll interchange it. I'll still wear this to run. It's very comfortable. 
the the pros for this one is that this actually gives you a bounce it's very comfortable bouncy but I feel like recently it's lost its bounciness. So I'm gonna change it up, switch it up and wear this and sometimes wear that one. The other one I wear is uh, Nike Lunar, Lunar Fly uh, 306, the Velcro one. That one, um, it feels the ground more, um, you can feel the ground with it and it's, it's hard impact on the ground. So um, three shoes to wear um, moving forward. Um, I might look for another pair um, coming soon as the weather is getting cooler and cooler and it's going to start raining more often. I might need a um, need to start wearing the, the shield products that I brought before. So that's all I have today. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, leave a comment and give me a thumbs up. Okay, thanks. Take care.